who are keeping today the day of the triumph of orthodoxy. This is not a day when we should feel proud of the victory of the Orthodox or any heretics. It's a day when we should rejoice that God has conquered us, that he has revealed to us through men, women, and at times children who had given their hearts to him, who had given their lives to him at a great cost at times, knowledge of him. So the triumph of orthodoxy is not the triumph of the orthodox over other people. It's the victory of God over our narrowness, our blindness, our sinfulness. And this victory has been won thanks to the fact that from century to century there has been men, women, children who so opened their hearts, their minds, their lives to God that they could share with us sinners, unworthy ones, a knowledge of God which is our light and our life. So let us be grateful to the saints known and unknown who have made it possible for us to know God, to partake in the mystery of his life, to become partakers of the church, not as an organized body, but as a mysterious presence of God who gives life to all those who come and cleanse their hearts, open their minds, surrender their wills, give their lives to him and under his guidance to others. Let us therefore thank God for his gift and be generous to others. If we do believe as we do that we have a knowledge of God which is great and deep thanks to the holiness of saints, known and unknown, let us receive this grace and give it, give it to others generously, without pride, humbly, knowing that we are unworthy of this knowledge and communion with God and that our only mission is to share it with others. Amen. The blessing of the Lord be upon you by his grace and love towards mankind always, now and forever, and world without end. Our true God, who is risen from the dead at the prayers of his all pure body, of the glorious and praiseworthy apostles, of St. John, St. Basil the Great, whose liturgy we celebrate today, of St. Serge of Radnir, Seraphim of Sarov, Blaise of Sebastian, Paul of Constantinople, Gregory the Wonder Worker, Nikita of Novgorod, Stephen of Suroj, whose relics repose in our church, of the answers of God, Joachim and Anna, of all the saints of this land and of the land of Russia, and of, all, of Saint Tichon, Patriarch of Moscow and of Russia, and of all the saints, will have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good and he loveth mankind. <laughs>